Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to create user and interact for new Shopify customers. Suppose you want that whenever a new customer is added in your Shopify account, automatically the same customer should also be added in the form of a user in your interact account. So how you are going to do this process? For that you will have to integrate your Shopify account with interact and to do the same we are going to use Pabli Connect which is an amazing automation and integration software. So what we are going to do, we have Shopify in our trigger and interact in our action. So we will be connecting both of them by using Pabli Connect in such a way that whenever a new customer will be added in our Shopify store, automatically by using the details of the same customer, it will be added in a form of a user in our Interact account. And to learn this entire process step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn that how can we automatically add a new contact or a new user in our Interact account by using the details of our Shopify customers. So, so we are going to create an automation workflow in which we are going to integrate Shopify and Interact in such a way that whenever a new customer will be added in Shopify, automatically by using the details of the same customer, a new contact or a user will be added in Interact. Okay. So let's start learning this process step by step. First of all, in order to create the workflow, we have to come on our browser and then we have to search for pabli.com slash connect. So with this URL, we will come on the landing page of the software. Here we can find two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are a new user, you have to click on sign up for free button to create your free new account and it will take only two minutes. Also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks to explore this amazing software. Now, because I'm already an existing user of this software, here I'm going to click on sign in. And this will take me towards all app section of Pabli. Here we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. Now to create this workflow, basically in order to integrate different applications, we use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And this will take us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. So here we can find all the workflows which we create on this dashboard. And to create a new workflow, we have to click on create workflow option given on right corner with blue color. So let's click on it. And now a dialog box has appeared in front of us, which is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So let's give it a suitable name. Okay. Add contacts and interact from Shopify customers. Okay, so I have given a random name to this workflow according to our objective. You can give any name to your workflow according to your choice. Okay, so after giving the name, let's click on create. And when we do that, we will find that two windows are open in front of us. First is the trigger and the other is action. So what are these trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the basic concepts on which the automation runs. So here we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions as we want. Trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means action has to follow what the trigger says. And whatever we will select in our trigger will initiate the entire workflow. So for example, in this workflow we are going to take shopify in our trigger and interact in our action and we want that as soon as a new customer will be added in shopify and the response is received here in public connect automatically by using the same response a new contact should be added in interact okay so let's start creating this workflow first of all we have to select our trigger application which is shopify let's select it and now we have to select our trigger event. So our trigger event here is going to be new customer. So trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow should trigger. Okay, so I want that whenever a new customer will be added in Shopify, then this workflow should trigger by capturing the response of the same customer. Let's select the trigger event. And here we can find that a webhook URL is provided to us along with some instructions which we have to follow in order to integrate our Shopify account with Pabli Connect. So first of all, let's copy this webhook URL and you have to follow these instructions carefully in order to connect your Shopify account with Pabli Connect. Now I will tell you exactly what we are supposed to do. So we have copied the webhook URL and now I will take you to my Shopify account. So this is my Shopify account and in order to connect this account with Pabli Connect, we have to go on settings from the left side. So after coming on settings, we have to find the option of notifications and after coming on notifications, we have to scroll down until we will find the option of webhooks. So let's scroll down. And here we can find the option of webhooks. Okay, so several webhooks are already created over here for different workflows. Now, in order to create a new webhook, we will click on this create webhook button. And here we have to enter the details. So first of all, we have to select the event. We have selected the event in Pabli Connect as new customer. So here also 
we have to select the same event okay so here also we will select customer creation as we want that whenever the customer will be created in shopify then shopify should send the response to public connect therefore we have selected the event as customer creation for webhook and now we have to paste the webhook url which we have copied from public connect in this url field here the format should be json and in the webhook api version we have to select the latest version okay so as now we have done this setup so every time a new customer will be created in shopify the response will be captured through this webhook which we have set up okay let's click on save and our webhook is ready now let's go back on public connect so here this is showing waiting for webhook response that means now we have to do a test submission by adding a new customer in our shopify store okay so i am going to do a test submission here by creating a new customer in shopify store so let us go on our shopify store so this is my store and here we have to go on the user section and now i am going to create a new account of a new customer so basically whenever a customer will create their account and enter this store then the response of the customer along with all the details will be captured in public connect okay so here we will create an account and these are the fields in which the customer is going to enter the details okay so for, it contains first name last name email mobile number and password so i have customized this in order to get the mobile number also the, you can customize these fields according to your choice now here i am going to enter the details of a customer okay so i'm basically going to enter random details here let's say test customer the first name and last name i'm going to enter an email a random email okay and i am also going to enter a mobile number okay password a random password and here i have entered my details now i'm going to create the account So here, as soon as the customer is going to enter the details and create the account and will enter and will enter into my Shopify store, the response of the same customer will be received in Pably Connect. OK, so let us go and check in Pably Connect. And here we can find that, yes, automatically we have received the response of the customer along with all the details, first name, last name, contact number and the email okay and now we are going to use the same details the same response in order to create a new contact and interact okay but for that we have to use the mobile number of the contact and because we have not received the mobile number in the correct format that is this is the key and this is the value but in the value also we have received the name as mobile number okay so in order to extract only the mobile number so that we can map that in our interact account we are going to add one more step in between okay by clicking on this plus sign and that is going to be text formatter by pably okay so this is a feature by pably which allows us to format our text according to our choice according to our workflows and now in our action event we are going to select text basic formatting okay so we'll click on connect so here our text formatter is already connected with Pably Connect because it is an inbuilt feature of Pably. Now here we have to enter the string that is the text which we want to format. So I want to format the text which I have received in the form of mobile number. Okay, so this is the text. I want to separate both of them and I only want to extract the contact number. So in this field that is in transform text, we have to select. So here I want to extract the phone number. So I am selecting extract phone number and let's click on save and send test request. And we have received the correct format of the phone number. So our phone number is extracted. Now by using this response, we are going to map the phone number in interact. So now let us select our action application, which is interact. And in our action event, we will select create or update user. Because we want that by using the details of our Shopify customers, a new contact should be created in our interact account. Okay, let's click on connect. And here from the given options, I'm going to select add new connection as I am making the connection for the first time. You can also select the existing connection if you have already built the connection. Now, in order to create a new connection, we have to enter a secret key. So from where we are going to find that secret key for that, we have to go on the settings sections in our interact account. So we can go there by clicking on this hyperlink. Also, let's go on this hyperlink. And here we can find that under developer setting, our secret key is given over here. Let's copy it and we will simply paste it over here okay click on save 
and our interact account is successfully connected with pabli connect now let's move on and here we have to enter the details and here we have to enter the details for adding a new contact in interact okay so first of all it is asking us for the country code and phone number okay so if in the response we have not received the phone number along with the country code then we have to enter the country code manually okay by using these fields but if we have received the response with the full phone number along with the country code then we have to use this full phone number field to map the phone number okay so here because we have received the phone number along with the country code so we are going to use full phone number field okay so i am simply going to map the data by using my previous response that is text formatted by pabli through which i have formatted the phone number and this is my phone number. so i have used mapping here because i want that whenever a new response will be captured of a new customer through shopify automatically these fields should be replaced with the new details of a new customer so that the workflow should run smoothly okay but if we will enter the details manually then it will not change with every new response because it will become static okay so here we use mapping in order to automate the entire process smoothly so the next is user trait and it is a required field so here we have to enter the user trait in this particular format that is key and value pair along with the inverted commas so user trait is a unique trait of a customer which we want to add either in the form of age name or any other unique thing which is going to be different for every customer so here just in order to show you the user trait i am going to use the first name as user trait so first of all i am going to enter the inverted comma then i am going to enter the name that is the key this is my key and here we will close the inverted comma then we will enter colon and here i am going to map the first name from my shopify response so that it could be so that it can change with every new response okay so this is my first name test okay we will use the inverted commas and this is my user trait so with every new response of a customer this name is going to be changed according to the response and here this is my user trait so in the exact manner you have to enter the user trait okay now the next is tag so we can also assign the tags to our customer here i have received the response through shopify so i am going to assign the tag as shopify click on save and send test request and we have received the response along with the customer id so that means this customer is now added in the form of contact in our interact account so let's go and check and this is the dashboard now let's go on the user section and yes we can find that a new contact is created over here with the name as test and the tag as shopify so this means our workflow is perfectly successful and we have successfully built the connection between shopify and interact so let us go and summarize what we have done in this workflow so here we have taken three steps trigger and two actions in trigger we have taken shopify and in action we have taken text formatter by pabli and interact so we have connected all of them by using pabli connect in such a way that now whenever a new customer will create an account in shopify store by entering the details automatically the same details will be captured here in pabli connect and by using the same details we are going to create a new contact in interact okay so here we have also applied text formatter by pabli so that the phone number can be extracted in the correct format and these are all the steps which we have to follow in order to integrate all these applications by using pabli connect so this was it in this video i hope this was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but you can easily integrate many other applications by using pabli connect now if you have any doubt you can easily email us at support at the red pabli.com if you want to ask any query you can easily reach out to us at forum.pabli.com and if you are having any pricing related issue with pabli connect you can easily reach out to the website given over here now if you find this video helpful in any way do not forget to share it with your friends and also please like our videos and subscribe to our channel to learn more such automation